Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Just restart your computer once and after that you can check. Still not working. The next step is to, now if you are able to launch the launcher, disable DLSS re reconstruction. Now for this, you can launch the launcher. Now, once you have the launcher, you can go to settings. Now, over here, go to graphics over here. Now, over here, you can see DLSS re reconstruction. So, you can turn this off. And then click on OK. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Disable frame generation. Now, for this, again, you can go to the launcher. Go to settings. And over here, you can see frame generation. Now, if this is on you can just turn it off turn it off and then click on ok and then launch the game next step is to turn off ray tracing now for this again go to launcher go to settings and then go to graphics over here and over here you can see ray tracing preset you can just turn it off then click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working next step is to set ray tracing to high so you can go to launcher, go to graphics. You can set ray tracing to high and then you can DLSS re, 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 reconstruction to off and frame generation off. So just make sure that this is DLSS re, reconstruction is off and then also go to this uh, also turn off frame generation and then you can select exclusive full screen over here and then click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to disable HDR in launcher. If that does not work for many users, this has also worked. So if HDR is on over here, you can turn this off and then check. Next step is to disable DLSS completely. This has also worked for many players. So you can just turn off the DLSS over here and then click on OK and then launch the game. Also, you can switch to TAA. So over here, you can just select this to TA. Click on OK. Launch the game and then check. Now, if you're using DLSS Swapper, then through DLSS Swapper, you can swap DLSS to 310.1. So you can, if you have this installed in computer, you can launch this and then find the game in the list. Now, once you find the game, click on it. And over here, you can select version 310.1. You can download it and then you can swap it. Swap. And you can do the same thing with this. And then you can launch the game and then check. This has also worked for uh, many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, AMD card user, 
uh, first of all, uninstall the current version of your graphic card driver and then restart your computer. Go to AMD website, select your graphic card and install the latest version and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. And then click on add desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Now, once the game is added, scroll down and find the game in the list. Once you find the game, now click on this drop drop down option and for GPU preference, select high performance over here and then launch the game. Next step is to now for NVIDIA users rollback graphics driver to version 566.36. So this has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then click on find. Now the latest one right now is 572.16 and for this is the studio and you have to download the GeForce Game Ready Driver. This is the latest one. You can click on view more version and for many user 566.36 has worked. So you can click on view and then you can download this, download it and then run the exe file. But make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. After the clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. Next step is for now. The next step is to this is for AMD users. Install this optional driver 25.1.1. So you can go to Google and you can just type in uh, AMD AMD optional driver 25.1.1 and then go to AMD website. Here you can see for new game support Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Scroll down and here you can see this version you can click on it and then you can run this exe file and install it in your computer and then restart your computer after the installation make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to now if you're using like if you're if you have any kind of overclocking application like if you're if you're running msi afterburner or if you're running revert tuner make sure that you close msi afterburner or revert tuner so if you have this running uh, you can just make a right click and then close it. Now, if you have revert tuner running over here, close revert tuner. Or you can simply close all the overclocking applications. So if you have any similar overclocking application, close it and then launch the game. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder select the gaming exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder scroll down over here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check you can Again, make a right click. If that does not work, go to this tab once again. Put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, they can, then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply and then click on OK and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to 
verify the game files this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files so once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game make sure that you update your windows 11 to version 24h2 so here you can see version 24h2 so install make sure your windows is up to date now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see microsoft visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 so run click on x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button click on install now run this x64 file again run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button click on install and make sure both the files are installed once installed then you can close this and then restart you can be a restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter which you're not using disconnect it disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select uh, properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also if you have like any other overlay application running like if you have discord running turn off overlay in discord if you have geforce experience running turn off overlay in geforce experience or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to next step is to rename save game files rename or you can delete the save game file but let me inform you when you rename or delete the save game file you will lose all the game progress so all the game progress the game progress you will lose all the game progress will be lost so if you agree you can do this so for this you can open file explorer and then go to documents over here you can see this uh, marvel spider-man 2 so if you want to create a backup you can copy this and maybe you can paste it to the desktop now once you have a backup over here now you can rename this folder you can rename it dot old and then you can launch the game and then check you can even delete this folder all the game progress will be lost you can delete this folder and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to set the paging file value to automatic now for this you can type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on it now go to settings over here first settings and then go to advanced option over here now click on change over here and put a check on the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all right and then you can click on ok and then you can check if that does not work again you can go to this option and then uncheck this box and then you can put a check on system manage size and then click on set and then click on ok and then you can restart your computer and then you can check still not working in that case you can increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about 
and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to um, select debug mode in nvidia control panel so you can just launch nvidia control panel launch nvidia control panel and then go to help option over here and then select debug mode over here and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. If So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.